In Japan in the early 19th century, the emperor, who was based in Kyoto, had very little authority. Instead, the country was run by the shogun, a military dictator based in Edo, and his subordinates, the daimyos, ran their respective domains like feudal lords. Plus, besides limited trading, Japan had largely been cut off from the outside world for centuries. But as more western ships began appearing in Japan's waters, many demanded that Japan modernise in order to defend themselves. But they largely didn't, and in the middle of the 19th century, America's Matthew Perry forced Japan to open up to foreign trade through gunboat diplomacy. This was quickly followed by more unequal treaties signed with western powers like Russia, Britain, Netherlands and France. And there was further turmoil in the 1850s when a series of earthquakes hit Japan destroying large sections of cities like Edo. In this instability many began to see the shogun, i.e. Seda, as inept because many of these treaties were largely signed by his officials. So many people began to turn to Emperor Komei for leadership because he, along with many samurai and daimyo, opposed opening Japan. For instance, there was Mori Takachika, the ruler of the Choshu domain. He followed Sono Joy, which was a movement to expel the foreigners and restore the emperor. But then in 1858, the Americans tried to get Japan to sign the Harris Treaty. The shogun's chief official, Hota Masayoshi, tried to get the emperor to approve the treaty in order to prevent the country from further dividing. Komei refused to approve the treaty, but this brought the emperor into politics for the first time in centuries. And by trying to bring the emperor into politics, it further divided those who were loyal to the shogun. For instance, E. Naosuke took over as the shogun's highest official, and the situation worsened when the shogun died. Both E and Hota backed different candidates to become the new shogun, but E's candidate, Iomochi, won out. E then began to remove opposition through his Ansai purges, however, he was assassinated in 1860. So during this turmoil, Hisamitsu of the Satsuma domain looked to unite the divided country through Kobu Gatai, a movement to unite the emperor and and shogun. He was successful in getting the shogun to marry an imperial princess, but his samurai killed a British merchant in 1862 after he failed to show respect. The shogun had agreed to pay compensation to the British, but the Satsuma domain did not. And as it increased anti-foreign sentiment, Emperor Komei gave his order to expel the foreigners in March 1863. The Choshu domain carried out this order and began firing at western vessels. So in August, the British bombarded the Satsuma city of Kagoshima to get their reparations, and the western powers united and attacked the Choshu city of Shimonoseki. Meanwhile in 1864 in Kyoto, masterless samurai or ronin from Choshu clashed with the shogun's newly created police force, and the ronin also set fire to parts of the city during the Kinmon incident. The shogunate responded by launching a campaign against Choshu, but leaders in Satsuma like Saigo Takamori were able to mediate a peace before any battles took place. Then in 1866, Choshu and Satsuma formed an alliance. Satsuma began buying weapons from British merchants, and these modernised weapons helped Choshu fight off a second expedition against them in 1866. However, also in 1866, Yoshinobu became the shogun, and he got advisors mainly from France to reform his armies. Fearing the shogun would begin to extend his power, the daimyo of Tosa joined Satsuma and Choshu in their alliance and tried to persuade the shogun to resign. Faced with a potential war, the shogun obliged and allowed the new emperor Meiji to assume power. Yoshinobu was set to lead a government council of daimyos under the emperor, but some like Saigo Takemori demanded that Yoshinobu was stripped of his titles. So in January 1868, the shogun called on loyal daimyos and marched on Kyoto. At sea, the shogun's modernised fleet was able to defeat the navy of Satsuma, but their land forces hadn't fully modernised. The Eitsu domain in particular had sent soldiers equipped with pikes, so they were beaten back at the Battle of Toba Fushimi and lost to Saka Castle. Yoshinobu then fled to Edo as the imperial forces pushed north and daimyo switched allegiances. Despite the western powers agreeing to remain neutral, French advisers did help the shogunate. But the imperial forces under Saigo Takamori won a decisive battle in late March and captured Edo shortly afterwards. But the northern daimyo still refused to submit, so they formed an alliance and purchased some foreign weapons but the 50,000 troops they could muster were still poorly equipped. So the Imperial forces captured Nagaoka in July and lay siege to Eitsu in October. The city fell in a month, ending the Northern Alliance and resistance in Northern Honshu. But an Admiral, Enomoto Takayaki, still refused to surrender. He fled to Hokkaido to create the Republic of Eitsu with a small army and a couple of French advisors. They were able to defeat the resistance on the island and strengthen their defences. But their navy was defeated and the Emperor's troops landed on the island in early 1869, forcing them to surrender. With Japan united, Emperor Meiji welcomed many of the shogun's officials into his government. He then introduced a series of sweeping reforms that modernised Japan and turned it into an industrial and imperial power. 